in the SAP system, we have uh, an object that we call them sets. And as you know, they are flexible. We can use them even for the creation of validations, also substitutions. But what's also interesting is if we have already defined some sets for, for those uh, uh, purposes, we can use the sets also in Report Painter. Uh, the other way around is true, of course. That means if we create a set for a report, we can then maybe also use it, uh, the, the values of the set in a validation or a substitution. So um, let's just have a look at how can we create sets directly here in, uh, not in the Fury app, but directly here in the um, SAP logon. And we will use uh, well, a transaction that we have directly inside of report writer. So let's open the path. And here we have sets. So let's open that one. And let's just run transaction GS01 to create a new set. Uh, this is going to be interesting. We will create a set for the months of the year. And the first one will be, uh, this one will be just for the uh, first quarter. So the first Q, Q1. Let's just enter this ID. And well, the table is uh, the C. CSS table. So after we have entered that, all of this is a basic set, so that's fine. Let's just click here, key maintenance. And now we need to select uh, what will be the field. Uh, if you remember, um, when we have been setting up uh, periods uh, uh, for uh, as a variable uh, for our reports, we have the PERBL. So that is exactly the field that we want to use to create this new set. So let's just enter that one. And um, but let's just enter a nice description here. Just like set Q1, which of course uh, inside of this we'll have the January, February and March. So let's um, actually go for value interval. With this we can just uh, enter a one for January, two February and three. Okay, so that's it. I mean, as easy as that, we can create our first set. Let's save it. And we'll just also create very quickly uh, the next sets for the next uh, quarters, uh, the next queues. So let's just go with this, um, the, the, the new set name, which is Q2. And just very quickly set Q2. Um, let's enter the second interval here, which uh, would be uh, just uh, four, five, and six for the next two months. So let's save it. Um, again, just really fast, we will create uh, the one for Q3. Again, it's a basic set, same field. And let's just enter set Q3. value and interval and of course this is just for seven eight and nine okay finally we will create a, um, a the last one q4 the same field of course and let's just uh, have the values which would be october november and December okay actually we will use this opportunity also to show how can we create um, what we call a, a not just a basic set but what we call a single set which a single set uh, we can use it like also for hierarchy uh, purposes because we actually we will create the first one which would be half one uh, and we'll have the first uh, two uh, queues and then we'll have uh, the second half of the year with the uh, next six months the next uh, uh, two queues uh, so well, let's just modify the id this one will be just um, set h1 and well, of course it's also using the same field but again this will be just first half of the year but what's interesting is we will just um, select um, here the, the possibility to add some values uh, in a lower level because again we want them uh, like a bit in, uh, uh, just with a hierarchy and 
we will enter the first ID of the first queue we can just press enter to analyze that we have the same uh, the correct one and then the same level we will enter the second set for the second queue okay so that's uh, pretty much it we can just save and of course we will just create also the second half of the year really really fast okay so again like lower level we will enter the id for this set the set q3 and uh, at the same level the set q4 okay perfect and actually well we will do just this one last time for the uh, whole year so let's go back and let's just enter year uh, the set for the year let's repeat the steps just with the uh, same field and we will let's just enter the description full year and we will add the two uh, halves so set dash h1 and at the same level we'll uh, also have the set dash h2 so when we press enter as you can see the system also is showing the uh, dependent or and sub um, uh, uh, sets which are the quarters the q1 q2 q3 q4 so all of this is correct let's just finish this uh, saving the details for the last set and that's pretty much it for this lesson um, let's just close this um, in the next one we will create the report using these sets uh, so of course we just invite you to keep learning with uh, all of our trainings